I am a molecular evolutionary biologist. I work in the field of comparative genomics um, and I currently teach everything from first year undergraduate level to master's level and I also run a research team, a fairly sizable research team. So I have experience of science from the very basic introductory level all the way up to postgraduate and beyond. So I use Mastering Biology in my first year science course. It's an um, introduction to cell biology and biochemistry and it runs in first semester and how I use that um, facility Mastering Biology is essentially it's to supplement those lectures. Um, in my lecture hall I have anywhere from 250 to 350 students um, and while I would love to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with each of them and help them out with their individual questions as they arise, it's actually very difficult with a class that size. And so how I use Master in Biology is almost as um, a teaching assistant, um, so I can direct students to the Master in Biology um, facilities and resources online and tell them, well, if, if that's a particular area, maybe, you know, that you're having difficulty with, maybe look at the bioflix, look at the animations, look at the, the nice discovery films, and, and see if they help your understanding and then you know send me your questions after that. So it's a really good supplement to the material they get from me directly in lectures. I can also say this information is from chapter such and such. These are the diagrams from that chapter that I use in my slides. So you can see really clearly the section of the book that they, that they belong to because we use the same diagrams in the lecture as are in the textbook. So they can match up the information really well. It kind of helps them to understand whereabouts in the textbook we are. So the Mastering Biology online tools in the textbook and the lectures all kind of filter in together and, and hopefully provide students with that extra little bit of help that they need with difficult concepts. There are a number of reasons, um, but firstly the very honest reason is that with a class of that size you want to give them every available opportunity um, to learn and to get the best experience possible. Um, and one way of doing that is to give them a facility for doing um, continuous assessment and making that a part of their overall grade for that module. And so we thought if we had a facility where we could um, give the students for all the world homework every week that they could get graded on and that that grade would go towards their end of year mark, then that would get them to engage with the material straight away, keep on top of it every week and they're also adding to their overall grade and helping out their overall grade overall. So the whole idea was to try and, and, um, and get them to do this continuous assessment and Mastering Biology allows us to do that in a really, really easy way. So I can just log on here, assign 10 questions for this week, students all at home can log on, do their homework, get their grade, figure out which questions they did poorly on, they might want to work on them for the exam um, and I get to see as a teacher very quickly what topics I've got across well and what topics I need to come back to in a tutorial because you can see across the spectrum of the class which questions did very very high scores and which questions got very very low scores so you can see where the weaknesses are in in the material and you can go back over it so that was a really big reason for using mastering biology but there's also of course the reason that we have a new generation of students now who engage much better with technology than we would have done when we were studying and so it's also to kind of try and embrace that um, and understand their way of learning which is slightly different than our way was so it's to provide them with an extra um, resource that's um, more in tune with how they learn they're not to like about <laughs> Mastering Biology. Mastering Biology is a fantastic tool. Um, it it complements what you do in your lecture course really, really well. It gives the students lots of facilities for doing um, additional work, keeping on top of material. Um, it provides them with this continuous assessment, which is an essential part of the course, which they get credit for, so they're happy they're gathering up marks as they go along. It's got the most wonderful set of animations, and all credit to whoever your animation team are, because these are amazing. And biology is a living, moving, breathing thing and sometimes when you're stuck with flat slides in your lecture just pictures and and writing it can be very difficult to get that concept across so i think mastering biology gets gets across the fact that when a cell divides it's not just diagram one 
Venn diagram too. It's a process and a gradual thing that happens between each of these diagrams and the animations are amazing for getting that across. My students love mastering biology and just last week I actually surveyed them to see what their opinion on all the resources they've been given in first year have been and they absolutely love mastering biology. It gives them the freedom because everyone in the class is slightly different in how they learn. You've got your visual learners, you've got your text-based learners, you've got people who like to spend a little bit more time or need more time on a particular topic whereas other topics will come naturally to them. So you have a huge spectrum that you have to deal with but mastering biology gives them the facility to go back over material in their own time and the type of material that helps them to learn so whether it's the graphics or whether it's the um, whether it's the text the e-text or whatever it happens to be they have the facility there to tap into what they know works for them Super easy. Um, when I first thought about using Mastering Biology, I thought, what am I getting myself into? Um, this is going to take me weeks and weeks of tutorials and getting to grips with strange online tools. But in actual fact, um, my, represent, my um, representative from Pearson came out and spent 30 minutes with me in my office. And in those 30 minutes, got me completely set up on Mastering Biology Online, explained how you use it, how you set quizzes, how you do all of these fantastic things, how to get to the animations down, how to do all these things. 30 minutes start to finish and I was set up and I had enough information in that 30 minute session to start setting up my continuous assessment material and um, to get students to do their homework and keep on top of things every week but I also had enough basic knowledge of how the system works that I, I felt comfortable to go in and play around with things and, and, and figure out a little bit more. A huge amount of resources on there. I suppose for me, I'm always thinking about, are the students getting it? Are they understanding the concepts? And if I was to give them an exam, how well would they do? And so for me, when I started, um, the year before I started using Mastering Biology, we had a, um, a particular pass rate and I was trying to increase that. I wanted more students to do better. Um, and so taking Mastering Biology into the course has, has actually facilitated that massively and making it an essential part of the course, making it something that students have to do to gather the marks and that goes towards their end of module mark, it's actually increased the pass rate in my particular module by 20% in the first year alone. So this is a huge, huge increase and all the other things we tried over the years didn't have such a big impact. So it's, it, it's, it's a wonderful resource. Um, again, I suppose my students are from everything from like um, mature students to students who are straight out of the Leaving Cert. And so in my class there's a huge spectrum of, of um, learning styles and learning techniques that work for different students and teaching techniques that work for different students. For some of them they're quite happy to read the textbook or read a slide of information and they get it. But for other students they need um, visuals, they need graphics, they need animations, they need it to, be, to come alive for them to understand it. And so for my students it's, a, it's hugely beneficial because they actually get both. And they become aware of what type of learner they are in first year. We do courses so that they can figure out what kind of learner they are and then they can tap into that side of the information and mastering biology that f facilitates their best learning so they can get the most out of the material. Absolutely without a doubt. It's made a huge difference to my module in first semester. I've recommended it to colleagues that teach them genetics and microbiology in second semester. They are also using it now and seeing a huge improvement in the engagement in the class, even how the class are engaging with the material is now much, much improved as compared to before. So yeah, absolutely go for it. I would advise a lecturer who wants to start using Mastering Biology to put aside 30 minutes, just 30 minutes, and invite a representative from Pearson. 
with those skills to come along and get them started because once you're up and running on the system it's so straightforward it's really easy to use you can log on from home you can um, make stuff available to students at home you can um, do so many things uh, you know from anywhere from a train from a bus but just getting set up and spending 30 minutes with somebody in the beginning who can show you the ropes and that's it and then you're laughing.